All right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. So last time we left off, I think we fought the Kulu Yaku. So hopefully this time we actually get to fight the Puke Puke. Um, we have to speak to the commander, apparently. And as you can see, this time we're online. I, uh, I updated the PSN and all that good fun stuff. You've done well. I have done well. The hunt is on for the Puke Puke. We're the ones to get it done. <clears throat> the fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Speak to the handler. Hey there. What if I don't want to speak to the handler? Yeah, we got a lot of <laughs> a lot of random quests that I haven't accepted. Cool. Oh, I guess we should make this not open. I don't know, it's been so long since I have done anything online. Uh, we're gonna go here. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've, uh, I've actually gone into an open lobby. Because obviously I don't have my own, my own setup in this yet. Why isn't Chef's Choice there? Come on, man. Fuck you, Matt. Yeah, today is going to be a a interesting day to record, because it was today or nothing for today. Like, if I don't record something, and by something I mean Monster Hunter, if I don't record any Monster Hunter today, I don't have any footage to put up. And, um, obviously I could just put up Spider-Man and Mirror's Edge at the same time and just say fuck it to Monster Hunter, but I kind of just... I, uh, I got my girlfriend to leave the house and go do things. It's Halloween, so. The child is also not here, which is exciting. Now, I don't remember where the Pookie Pookie lives. Makes it a lot easier for me to record, I guess. But it's gonna be interesting. Because I don't know how long I have, but I wanna do. I wanna do a little bit today. You know, like, I don't want to just sit down and be playing the game for 20, 30 minutes. That's, that sucks. That's never fun. So if I could sit down and actually, like, binge this game a little bit and try and get out of low rank, that would be a little bit preferred. Oh, man, we found him. No way. I can't wait to upgrade this stupid beetle. I am sick of how slow he is. There we go. It's been a little bit since I've played this game, so... Might be a little bit rusty. I might not actually know what I'm doing for the little bit here. But it's low rank, so, you know, who cares. I get to die three times before the mission's over. And honestly, that's... that's not gonna happen. The Anjanath, I'm a little bit worried about. I won't lie, because I want to... I'm trying to go through low rank as fast as possible to get straight to the Yodogaron, because that's probably going to be my end game set that I use. But the Anjanath is such a high difficulty spike compared to all these, like, low rank monsters. He is by far the hardest low rank and he might be able to one-shot me. And that's not good. Because it's been... It's been months since I've fought an Anjanath. Like, I was done with the Anjanath a long, long time ago. 
and I don't plan on fighting more than the two that I have to in this playthrough. Yeah, it's really exciting. My girlfriend is starting work sooner than when she expected, so today's Wednesday, for all of you wondering, um, which is a day before this is going to be going up. She starts work on Monday, so I have... I have less than a week to kind of adjust to waking up at 7 a.m. Because the kid's not going to go into daycare. I'm going to end up just waking up earlier. And I figure that, that that's an easier way to, to deal with that. Because it's like a thousand bucks a month for, for daycare. And that's just stupid. Like, I would rather be tired than broke, because I'm already tired anyway, right? Like, I would already have to wake up early. And it's not like I don't wake up early enough as is for what my job is. Like, I get home some days at like 2 a.m. And I wake up at like 10, sometimes 9. It's terrible, but like I'm still... I've had days where I wake up at 7 and then go back to bed. Like, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world if I stay up after I wake up. Like, the difference would be I'm just a little bit more tired and then I go to work and I'm tired. Like, to me, that doesn't matter. But I've also had a lot of experience in working while tired. So, for some people, that sounds terrible. Some people just go, ah, fuck it. Whatever, it's just... It's just sleep. Because I used to, like, a long time ago, I used to, um, I used to go to bed at, like, I don't know, 8 o'clock at night. Like, I would, I'd finish karate, I would come home, and then I would have to wake up at, like, 1 to go deliver papers till 4, and then I'd go back to bed and wake up at 6 to go to band. And then I wouldn't get home until when school's done and then I would rinse and repeat, right? So, I'm used to not sleeping. I am I am fine with it. It's not a big deal. Sick, we got his tail to come off. He's also a really good, for anybody who has a, a glaive build, the Puke Puke is very good for end boss, because he's susceptible to poison. So you kind of want to get a, a poison weapon going for him. Because at least then you're doing damage while he's up in the air and shit. And you can't reach him. Because I don't think flash pods work on him. I am fucking this guy up, though. Yeah, I'm used to having no sleep, so that doesn't really bother me. The whole... The only thing that kind of is going to suck is adjusting to waking up and immediately making food. Because, obviously, when I wake up, the kid's going to be awake. And because Jordan's awake, I'm going to have to make her food. Which is fine. But then I'm going to have to make food for myself. And then when she goes down for a nap is when I would record. Or start live streaming or whatever. And then I would basically have an hour or two of of downtime for myself and then she would wake up and then she'd probably be going down for a nap again at around the time that that the other two kids come home so i have a schedule and i'm not used to that <laughs> i'm not used to having a a defined like i have to record at this time and i have to make food at this time i need coffee like at that time it's it's going to be weird to adjust to that, but I don't know. I'm sure it won't take long. It'll just be kind of rough the first couple of days, because obviously my body's not going to be ready to just spring into action as soon as I'm out of bed. Usually I wake up and then like hate life for a little bit, if that makes sense. Like I'll just roll around and get out of bed and sit down with a coffee and hate everything, but now I have to do things before the coffee is made. Unless I wake up before the kid, and that's not gonna happen. 
Especially not during the summer when I have days where I work till like 3 a.m. Obviously right now during the winter season because it's a, a food distributing company, we don't have a lot of tourists and restaurants are slowing down for winter. So I get off a lot earlier at this time of year. So I don't have to worry about that yet. But when it picks back up, it's going to be pretty, pretty different. This guy has held on to life for quite a long time here. Is he trying to fly away? Like, what's happening? Okay. That's good, because I need to sharpen. Something that might uh, might shock people is I never got the... Fuck, what's it called? It's like the Palico equipment that that gives you monster drops. I never got that in my first playthrough. I entirely skipped that. So I don't know how much more of a, a help that'll be if I end up getting it in this playthrough for grinding out monsters. I'll probably get it just to just to make things go a little bit faster. I just don't know how much faster it's going to be. Because for the most part, I just did investigations, and the investigations were enough. Because they give you extra loot anyways. So it didn't really matter. And that's why I never went back for it. I missed it the first time. And then one of my friends was like, yo, did you get this thing? It's fucking amazing. I was like, no. I was like, you should go back and get it. And then I just never did. Completely ignored all of it. You can stop eating whatever you're eating, though. That'd be great. I only really need the attack buff. He's almost dead. He didn't go to sleep, though, which is kind of weird. I thought for sure he'd be coming up to your sleep. Apparently I've been slacking on this fight. Oh, there we go. Maybe not. Maybe he's just... Fuck it. <laughs> That's what we call a victory. Now, I have no idea what monster is next on the list. This is as far as I remember into the game. It might be the Barith. Or the Gyrotortoise, come to think of it. But I don't remember. I have no fucking clue. Is there any bone piles around here? Because that would actually be kind of helpful with the whole making of the bone staff and things. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to even be able to loot one if I find it anyways. Oh well. Wow, oh, ten minutes. And it's the largest Pookie Pookie we have ever found. What? Oh. Wow. Did I get a trophy for that when that happened the first time? Because that'd be crazy. That would actually be nuts. I don't remember any of the trophies in this game, other than, like, the, you need the largest and the smallest of every monster that you could get. And the research everything. And the bugs. Thank you. Listen up. Yeah, we're going to the Wild Spire Waste. All right. Well, it's time to begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Make sure. sure you know what you need to do. Mhm. Mm so now we need to protect the scholars. Sure. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. No. All right. 
That will do it for this episode of Monster Hunter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next time when we come back, we will go check out the Wildspire Ways and see what's crack a down there. And as always, have a fantastic day.